just ahead on This American Land. The highways that make travel smooth for people can pose deadly obstacles for wildlife on the move. When engineers and biologists provide a safer option, deer and other creatures are clever enough to choose the right path. Humans also seek out safety when they're, well, migrating across town. Super nice to not have to worry about crossing the road when you're running. In big cities everywhere, greenways are magnets for working out, hanging out, and celebrating nature. Now, meet the king of camouflage. Scientists need to track these elusive curlews so they can help protect them in the future. It's a big order for a small bird. We'll show you their ingenious solution. So get ready for your close-up. The herd is on the move, and we're ready for takeoff on this American land. Welcome to This American Land. I'm your host, Ed Arnett. And in every show, we've got some terrific stories about protecting America's natural resources, our landscapes, waters, and wildlife. And you'll get to meet some of the dedicated people protecting these treasures. Up first today, we look at one of the biggest threats to migrating wildlife, modern infrastructure. Deadly encounters between cars and animals are common, but they're not the only threats to wildlife on the move. In this story, we'll see how some innovative programs are attempting to give nature a fighting chance. We start in Colorado. We have really quite an array of wildlife here uh, because we have a beautiful riparian corridor. Um, we have a really healthy pinyon juniper woodland. And all of it accesses then some open meadow space. Five fifty here intersects a movement corridor for our large game species. And they move from these summer ranges and they try to access some of the winter forage that they can get at these lower elevations here. So it presents conflict between our motorists and traveling wildlife. So this one must have gotten trapped inside the right of way hit by a vehicle and was thrown over. We have about 14,000 animal collisions on our highways every year. Uh, nationally, 2 million insurance claims for wildlife vehicle collisions. We keep encroaching, encroaching, encroaching. So we're creating this problem where essentially we're, we're making their migratory path impermeable to movement. So these techniques that the highway departments and the, and the state wildlife agencies are using to mitigate this now is, is really, really great for conservation. This particular section of road has an average annual daily traffic of around 8,300. And science has shown that highways with traffic volumes of 9,000 cars a day create an almost permanent barrier to wildlife movement. So we see a lot of collisions on this road. When we mitigate for wildlife vehicle collisions on the highway, we provide a whole system the system is comprised of eight-foot-high wildlife exclusionary fencing that you can see here on the side of the road. Inevitably, animals will get into the right-of-way, so we always provide deer escape ramps, which you can see. And that allows animals that get trapped within the right-of-way a chance to escape the right-of-way and get back into the habitat. And then at every access point, we then have to install cattle guard, or deer guards in this case, and it basically prevents the animals from walking through the openings that we have in the fence. All that fencing and the wildlife jump outs really are tied to the wildlife crossing structures themselves, which allow the animals to safely move underneath the highway. We pinpointed this where we saw a number of accidents. They used it within two weeks of us pulling the construction equipment off the project site. We had animals utilizing the structure. You want it to be as open as you can possibly get it. And animals really won't use a structure unless they can see daylight through it. The crossing structures themselves cost anywhere between $750,000 to a million dollars to construct. 
but when you are reducing the rate of accidents to the degree that we are, they do end up paying for themselves by the benefit that they provide over a 10 to a 15 year period.